Hi Scorpio, welcome to your October reading for career and money. This is a general reading and a collective reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon and rising signs. And if you're still not finding your answer, you know, ask for guidance because the universe, God, the angels, everybody, they want you to have your answer. Uh, it could be in another uh, tarot reader and it could be in a song or who knows. Point is, they do want you to have that answer. Right now, we're going to ask God, guys, our angels, our archangels, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for the tarot as a tool. We thank you for allowing us to understand what energies we can look forward to navigate through the month of October as it relates to money and career. We thank you for clear and concise messages, clarification, confirmation, and validation, and love, light, and prosperity as it relates to career for Scorpio, October 2019. Okay. Wow. Partnership and alliances. Spiritual strength. And rest and rejuvenation. Okay. That's all pretty exciting. We're going to get some clarifiers for these and see exactly what it is they're talking about. Um, while I'm shuffling, I just want you guys to know that um, I am a new channel. If you didn't know, I'll, I'm almost two months old. And at the end of every reading, I do a PS. So stick around till the end. Sometimes it's a confirmation. Sometimes it's a whole new little something something for you. God guides angels, archangels, and Holy Spirit. We thank you so much for showing us the energies that Scorpio will be navigating as they walk through the month of October as it relates to career and money. Now we're looking for clarification. Show us clearly what is partnership and alliances? What's that about? What's spiritual strength about? And tell us what is it about rest and rejuvenation as we walk through October. So... We're getting the Page of Wands to clarify partnership and alliances. We're getting the Page of Wands. And we're getting the Six of Pentacles. And to clarify spiritual strength, while wow, we're getting the Queen of Pentacles. And we're getting the King of Wands. Wow, and to clarify rest and rejuvenation, Scorpio, we are getting two of pentacles and six of cups. Okay, so let's start with the three of, um, well, it's the same as the three of wands in the traditional tarot, and this is about partnerships and alliances. Um you know, sometimes sometimes things are uncomfortable. And in the traditional tarot, that's basically how I read that card, that things are uncomfortable, pulling you out of your comfort zone, things like that. And perhaps somebody has come to you uh, and is wanting to partner with you on something. They're wanting to collaborate with you on something that is important to you. We're getting the page of wands here. It's, it's like a passion project for you. It is... See all that red? That's passion. That's inspiration. It's a wand. It's, you know, it could be of a spiritual nature. Um, the page is um, like a messenger. So perhaps it has to do with communication. Perhaps you and somebody are wanting to start a magazine, a newspaper, write a book or something like that. But it, it looks like somebody has come in or is about to come in and offer you some help in that area. Uh, and, and you're being asked to really consider that, you know, with their, that their core values are in alignment with you. This is about, um, generosity. It's about equal give and take. And, and it's asking you, I think, to remember that, especially if they're coming in with money, Scorpio, I want you to pay attention to this, especially if they're coming into money, you have to know that what you're giving is the experience, the passion, whatever. So what you're giving is equally as valuable as what they're giving. So there's going to be an equal give and take there. That's why it's called a partnership and an alliance. 
The other thing is that it looks like it's going to put you in a place where financially you would be able to do some uh, some giving also uh, down the road to other people, people that are important to you. But this is definitely about being in a position where not only are we able to give, it's important for us to know how to receive too. And, and that's what I'm kind of saying about the money, especially if it's somebody coming in, offering you money, be willing to receive. There's an art to being able to receive, especially if you've worked hard all your life, passionately inspired all your life working hard and and you've always made your own way whenever somebody comes in to help us it's hard for us to to flip and become the receiver because um because it's not what we're accustomed to but it's equally as important to learn to receive okay the spiritual strength I absolutely love this card. I'm just going to tell you, whenever I see this card, I think of my spirit guide, Joseph. Um, because this is how I feel I walk through life sometimes, with him holding things up for me as I go through it. And and that's basically what this card is saying, is that, you know, your spirit guides, the, the nine, the spiritual strength, the nine in this card is the same as the nine of wands in the traditional tarot. Well, in that deck, you see a wounded warrior, right? In this deck, they're saying, no, you have done a lot. You have gone through a lot, but you haven't been alone. I'm suddenly remembering that um, that poem about whenever there were uh, two sets of footprints in the sand, and then all of a sudden there's only one. What, what happened when there was only one? And Jesus says, that's when I was carrying you. Well, so this is the same thing. It's like, it's like you're being offered... Not only are you being offered, you've had it where, where you have you have been guided, you have been protected all this time. Even in times whenever you felt like you were doing it alone, even in times whenever you felt like you were never gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel, you were you were not alone. You've had this this amazing strength team from the other side with you, Scorpio, helping to carry the load so that it wouldn't be so difficult on you. Okay. You're getting a clarifier with the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is telling me the Queen of the Queen of Pentacles is telling me that Okay, I don't normally do this, but this may in fact be um, more than just a um, business relationship. You've got the Page of Pentacles and, and the, uh, the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, and here you've got the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So one's very passionate, one's very resourceful. Just putting that out there, um, I don't normally di divert to a love reading in a career and money reading, but because it's like kind of obvious, it's like, yeah, maybe maybe this partnership is actually uh, two people, two like-minded individuals who are in in another type of relationship, a love relationship, that are wanting to go forth and do this together. And perhaps one of you feels like the other one, this one feels like this one, is being too generous with their money. Okay? Don't feel that way. That There's there's equal give and take. This, this card right here shows it. There's equal give and take going on. Not only that, again, what you have to bring to the table is important. Uh, it couldn't It couldn't go... I used to sell cars and the uh, sales department and the service department were always eh, all the time. And, and the sales, not me, but some salespeople would always say, well, if we wouldn't sell the cars, you wouldn't have any business. And the service department would say, well, if we wouldn't fix the cars, you wouldn't have any business. And so it was like a, who's more important? They're both important. So the passion for the project and the dollars for the project, both very, very important. Okay. 
And that's what I'm trying to say with that. But the but the Queen of Pentacles is like it's like this is a gift. This is actually a gift. This is a loving gift being offered to you, and and it it lets you bring your passion from an idea to fruition. Do you see what I'm saying? It helps you. It helps you go from a page to a king in this situation. The king is a visionary. He was a visionary way back here, right? But he, but he didn't necessarily have all the resources. He had the ideas. He had the grit. He had the work eff, effort and ethic, all that stuff. But now, with the with the help of your spirit guides and your spirit team, with the help of this other person, a love relationship or not but this partner coming in, then you go from being the page to the king in this field that you're so, so very passionate about. Scorpio, this is pretty amazing. Okay, so maybe you're the, maybe you're the money partnering up with, flip, flip the characters if you need to. Maybe Scorpio, you're the money partnering up with your, uh, your friend who's very passionate about something. Or somebody you know who's very passionate about something. Then we have rest and rejuvenation, right? So what they're saying is, uh, this is actually the four of swords. Whenever you get past this, okay, when you get to the other side of this, you're going to realize that receiving is indeed just as important as giving. So this is going to be a milestone for you. And they're, they're saying, don't forget to rest and acknowledge the growth in you acknowledge the the work that you've done acknowledge the gifts that have come because of it and all that stuff and they're clarifying it with the two of pentacles now in the traditional tarot this little guy's a little bit more uh cattywampus but in this particular deck he's much closer to being balanced and he's happy so i feel like this is saying that you're going to find your balance. You're going to find your equilibrium. It's going to be okay. The, the seas behind here in this ocean are very, very smooth. So it's like there's two ships headed, headed toward each other. I don't know which way they're headed. I'm going to say they're headed toward each other. It's like opportunity meets resources or opportunity meets luck or opportunity meets hard work. Okay. That's the definition of luck. When hard work meets opportunity. There you go. So it's so, and you're going to find your balance, your equilibrium. Look on one leg. You're on one leg. You're going to find your balance and your equilibrium. The six of cups is about, um, nostalgia. It's about things in the past, past lives, perhaps. So perhaps this partnership that you're thinking about entering into is somebody from a past life. Perhaps it is somebody from your past that you knew a long time ago. Whichever the case may be, this is how I'm seeing it right now in this reading for you. Remember, I'm an intuitive reader. And what I see is these cups are full, different colors, happy colors. Every cup is full. And these people are very relaxed, these kids, very relaxed. And it's, it's, I feel like it's telling me, it's like when you were little, you wished about, you know, oh, when I get big, I'm going to do this and everything's going to be wonderful. And it may not be exactly what you said you were going to do then. I have a daughter that whenever she was little, she wanted to be a can opener, <laughs> whatever. And I have another daughter that whenever she was little, she wanted to be popular popular, whatever. But so it may not be exactly what you were thinking about when you were a little kid, but it's still going to fill you up that way. And you're going to feel that, that joy and that, uh, that fulfillment. Look at all those cups, that fulfillment, that emotional fulfillment, that, that love, that peace. It's, it's going to be something that is like, yes, for you. Okay, so now we're going to get the PS. Scorpio, this is really cool. And like I said, you may be the one with the passion. You may be the one with the money. But it looks like somebody's partnering up in career and money here. So you switch the, the um, roles however they work out for you. Okay, God, guides, angels, archangels, and Holy Spirit, I thank you so much for 
this reading for Scorpio. Thank you for giving them confirmation, clarification, and validation. And thank you for uh, love, light, and prosperity and clear and concise messages. Show us the PS for them. By the way, thank you so much for the subscribes, the likes, the bell thingies, the, the comments. And if you haven't done so already, please do so uh, if this has resonated with you. And I look forward to seeing you again. P.S. Look. This is so not at all a part of, a part of this reading. This is a whole nother message. They're saying they're, they're continuing to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like Scorpio, you would be the one receiving the money for this opportunity. And so I feel like because of that, uh, that's why this card came up because they're saying, you know, you felt like you would never be able to do this because you would never have the resources. And here we are setting you up uh, with resources. So uh, you're not being left out in the cold. We just want you to understand that. Mm. Oh, God. I love this. Look. Remember I said you, you go from being the page of wands to the king of wands? It's because the universe came in gifting you this passion and gifting you the resources to bring this passion forward. Wow. Now that's confirming. Stop trying to do it by yourself, Scorpio. That's what this is telling me. Put down the burden. Put down the burden of trying to think you have to do it all by yourself. You've worked hard for a very, very long time, and it's like the universe is setting this up for you. Put down the burden. Put down the pride. Whatever it is that would keep you from getting into relationship with this partner, what career and money-wise, for sure. Whatever it is keeping you from, from getting into that, put down the burden. Uh, read the contract well. And then sign. Okay. Wow. That was a great reading, Scorpio. I look forward to hearing about it all in the comments. And until next time, have a super duper day. Bye.